Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Here's my baby. Hmm. Sorry, my baby was there. Yes? All right. You know, uh, I've made a couple of videos about uh, uh, red flags in a woman. There were some girls, girls normally don't follow my channel too much. But there are some girls or women who ask me, Loy, what are the red flags in a guy? Now, I know that majority are not females who follow my channel. But then uh, I was like, okay, fine, let's make it balanced. If my daughter were to ask me, let's say my, my daughter. If my daughter were to ask me tomorrow, uh, what are the red flags in a guy? What would I tell my daughter? So in this video, I'm going to answer, what are the red flags in a guy? Okay, so oh, oh. Uh, let me open this one second. For a woman. Okay, so I made uh, I made few points, which I'll share with you. You tell me if I'm right or wrong, and each point, each point is a different category in itself. You tell me if I'm right or wrong. Okay. Now these are some of the red flags to keep in mind if you're dating a boy or you're planning to have him as your boyfriend or long-term relationships. Okay, the first flag. The first red flag I would tell my daughter selecting a boy is now, number one is, does he keep changing his toys? Does he like toys? Does he like style? Does he like technology? Now if you have a person who Every time upgrades his watch, every time upgrades his phone, every time upgrades the accessories in his car. Okay, that is a very clear red flag that this person gets bored very easily, that this person wants new things very easily, that this person has to show the world that yes, I have these amazing things because it forms his self value for his self image. So even when he gets a girl, the girl tends to be, uh, you know, arm candy, where he has to show everyone, look, I got this hot girl. Look, I got this talented girl. Look, I got this special person. So that's the first red flag. So anybody who has a passion for new, new things every time, that clearly shows that person will want new things in other areas. Now, obviously he'll be like, oh, I, I love technology, but I'm happily married. 20 years. Okay, fine. You can be a rare exception. Okay, now for example, I I might upgrade my laptop or buy new things. It's work related. Okay, sometimes for games. But okay, my, my past has been colorful. But today I'm not colorful at all. So can it be applied? Yes, why not? Because uh, if I was alone, I, I wouldn't mind going with other girls. Okay, but I have purposefully made my life in such a way there's no temptation. But like I said, just because you upgrade doesn't mean you're a bad guy. But in majority, majority of the cases, if the person has to upgrade, means the person has to show off. How many people you know who keep buying every year new phone, new phone, new phone, for what? Because you're insecurity, you want to show off. Now, before I conclude this point, because I don't want to go on and on, let's say a woman upgrades her phone every year, upgrades her fashion, wardrobe and all. Well, she'll not change her husband because her husband pays all the bills and she can afford this. If she was a multi-millionaire, she would change her husband also. <laughs> okay. So they are dependent. Now the second one, while evaluating a boy. Now, this is very critical. Check the person's behavior, the person's alone, privately. Okay, when nobody is watching, only you're there. Versus in front of the family 
versus in front of uh, best friends versus in front of society different areas is the behavior with the foundation more or less the same or are they very sharp changes for example when the person's alone the person's okay quiet when the person sees other people oh very flamboyant wow attention seeking when the person's front of the family okay just minding their own business don't get along when the person's in the office nothing so great but now when the person's front of his friends i'm invincible i'm great so here you see a pattern where the person tends to put on an image of what they are not then that is why you need to keep a red flag that means the person showing you something showing you but maybe in real life there's something else i'll speak about the honeymoon phase where they're sweet and nice in the last point but keep in mind uh this is very hard to notice during the honeymoon phase point number 3 okay seeking point number 3 is seeking attention and validation now people can do this through many ways uh they can do it through social media they can do it through their office they can do it through uh let's say face to face you need to pick up these signals how are they seeking importance and validation like what is it are they buying toys are they doing it through money are they doing it through spending are they doing it through hanging around with important people we all have this need of validation and importance the question is how do you implement this does this person uh, put it through reading studying working or does this person try shortcuts so this area also proves to be very important that is why if you see people who work hard why they work so hard and kill themselves like 24/7 because they are important and validation is this business why do some people go to the gym and work hard until they get six pack abs and so that is the way they do it why do some people you know identify with their family and hang around with the family indian especially everything if you are married to me you have to listen to everything the family says and some people do it through their religion so find out how point number 4 or oh, this one's a important one is a person ambitious if the person's ambitious then the person would want bigger faster stronger better now it's not only valid only where money and uh, power and measurables are concerned when a person becomes more ambitious and is achieving much more the doors of opportunity temptation vices also open more for example let's say a person started in a small village and the person's working only in that village and your with this person fine person has limited options but let's say the person became a multi millionaire now the person travels to philippines thailand cambodia united states europe and the person is traveling alone and is there for 15 days 20 days you think the person will not be exposed to temptations possibly new relationships new uh, vices new things to do you think they'll not experience all the in fact if you're rich you don't think other members of the opposite sex find you attractive so then what makes you attractive just like you know i told you people want to change their phone so phone is slow i want a new phone oh, my car doesn't look very attractive i want a new attractive car same way so if the person's ambitious be careful uh there's a possibility that the person would be ambitious in having the best of the best in everything number 5 this one is very uh once it is in your system you can't change it smoking drinking drugs sex the vices smoking drinking drugs and sex why do i say this anyone who is into vices like these the reason why they are into this is because it gives them immediate pleasure immediate fun like tea coffee we drink tea coffee because we want to be active immediately in the same way why do you smoke when you are stressed and pissed off you are relaxed oh when you drink you leave all your inhibitions oh it feels great when you have sex you forget momentarily 
what is there even same thing with you know drinks and drugs so when a person has this in their system smoking drinking drugs or sex the chances of them being loyal to you is very very thin the majority of people who are into alcohol and smoking majority you can be rest assured they will have the temptation of sex and the chances for them to be loyal to you is very slim and remember once you get drunk your inhibitions lower your self control lowers you just want to enjoy so there is very less reason for them to even think logically and uh, addictive substances alter your personality over the period of time so if the person smokes drinks has vices and all that the chances of them being loyal to you very slim next one number 6 the sports the person plays hmm is a person a team player or is a person who likes to body build power lift wants you know all appreciation only on him not on the team see this also affects your psychology i'm not saying one is better than the other for example if you are in a team sports doesn't mean because you like a team you'll get along with the team no along with the team comes a team vices if you are a bodybuilder does that mean you are alone does that mean you are oh he is full of himself yes he is full of himself but maybe he wants to really internalize so this plus and minus so keep in mind if the person what sports they play it influences their personality so some people because they focus on sports uh it kind of Im- impacts their ego and yes sports and non sports also so this one you'll have to look by case by case basis if the person is for example bodybuilding and looking at himself in the mirror and checking his muscles abs flexing and showing off you can be rest assured he does it for what purpose if the person is uh, playing sports and winning games and then hangs around with the boys to have a good time well just because he, one boy is good it doesn't mean the other boys are going to be good also they'll do their shit you get influenced by other people so check with sports and check their behavior accordingly number 7 uh this one is uh the kind of experience he gives you does a person make you dress up sexy and he shows off to all his friends see the girl i got does he brag about it or does he not want to show doesn't care or is he the type who say wear a like a muslim a black avaya and sit at home you know you belong to me only nothing doing look at look at that area that ang- that the spectrum of extremism is he showing you off to everyone is he locking up in the house or is he in between like i tell people moderation is good if the person is showing you off to everyone making you wear sexy clothes and bragging he's just using you to boost his stock if the person tells you put a bloody abaya and sit at home and nobody can say hello to you is a control freak who believes he can do whatever the fuck he likes but you can't moderation is important in my case i've told my wife no makeup you don't need makeup you don't need to show off to anyone why why do you want to put powder and all that shit just be yourself my wife has asked me should we spend money for surgery to increase the size of her breast her ass slim her body change her jaw i said for what when we get a baby the baby will get your original genes not the modified version we might as well look normal you know i know you check my face i'm not normal done a lot of shit in my past so all i suggest in this area is find out what is he doing check what has he done before check how his relationships were before was he showing off bragging to everyone social media everything or was he keeping it private or was he a control freak even these people who say no after you my girlfriend you can't say hello to your friends and this and that they are also oh my goodness stay away from such psychos point number 8 this one uh, i think people enjoy it but that's where i caution them too much of anything no is bad like for example too much of sugar too much of salt too much of butter too much of oil in the same way too much of love too much of sex too much of attention if a person gives you in the initial period of your relationship 
guaranteed i can challenge you guaranteed that will not continue and most probably he'll break up why because he'll get bored because he's putting too much he can't be consistent now he'll focus on someone else for the person who's receiving it enjoys it much more but eventually when you don't get it you'll be like oh you used to give me this once upon a time i wanted the same standards and if they are not met fights frustrations and all the problems take place point number 9 maturity see if you actually look at it i didn't mention age as a first point because uh, the fact is there are some people who are mature at a young age and some don't get mature at all even after they are 40 for me maturity came very late because i never had a proper upbringing so this one maturity you have to see how the person interacts who the person interacts what is the method of thinking you need to check them by talking to them by communicating by seeing the people they hang around with the responsibilities that they have i know personally you know one 20 something year old boy in india he's taking care of his mother his father they both are unemployed okay he's taking care of both of them supporting his sister and working now this boy is the perfect boy for someone to get married to he doesn't look flashy he looks normal average doesn't have anything outstanding about him but what he offers is stability security class so that kind of maturity comes only when you face life okay so keep that in mind point number 9 and point number 10 the character now character comes with upbringing okay the upbringing is very obviously you can't measure this how do you measure someone's upbringing well there are some ways one is go and check the parents out how do the parents behave privately publicly when they are bored when they are angry meet them couple of times okay how do their brothers sisters behave how does their family behave how does the social circle behave this defines the person's character when i was checking out for my wife um i saw her mother father farmers simple don't put makeup nothing working hard i saw the brothers sisters they were all okay some of them are little quirky and some of them like to show off on social media but the majority were hard working simple factory people so and then i saw how her presence was on facebook she was not showing off like some girl showing sexy her sexy was really funny <laughs> she used to dress up with big eyebrows and oversized sunglasses to look like cool you know <laughs> it was so funny she, uh, you know my wife doesn't have very big breasts so she would you know pucker up like this and just show one photo <laughs> i tease her about it so i knew that innocence was there i knew that innocence was there so that's how i was able to measure her character so remember adversity defines your character and in my wife's case not only family she went through a lot of pain in life early on because she got married early love marriage with the wrong guy and then she dated another guy who was equally stupid and that in turn made her a much better human being because she understood i can get the best looking guy hot chocolate and good physique but then character will be fucked up that's why even though with all my tattoos and i was really fat that time she knew that this doesn't define who i am the character does so character you need to measure by the family by the upbringing the adversity that they've been through and uh, yes other simple things like temper uh, impulsiveness preferences see overall what i'll tell you is when deciding on a boy you know when a boy wants sex when a boy wants something he'll be very sweet very nice he'll shower with blessing with compliments oh i love you can't you keep away even from such people you need class and then there are some others who will just want sex and uh, which is very normal most of the boys they like sex and they get turned on with images and sex chats and all that but beyond all this after all this these gimmicks there comes a seriousness of the day to day the every day and when you're talking of a long term relationship i would just tell you this much that uh, it's a marathon if you're planning to get married i would say hold on to it don't get married stay with that person stay with the person without getting pregnant and having baby stay with the person for a couple of months years 
and you will come to know how that person is when the honeymoon phase is over when the romance dries out when the anticipation when the when the you know the fun is over then you'll see the real side and there you'll come to know is this person really worth it you know when you see the person who is didn't have a shower smelly mouth smelly body room is in a mess uh stress and tension and problems of day to day life you have to go to work deal with problematic customers clients you know you have to pay your bills how does a person how does a person behave how does a person treat others how does a person treat you you will come to know and this will help you make a better informed decision please never get, be in a rush to get married fast because if you do you'll regret anyway these are the 10 points the 10 red flags that i would tell you let me know in the comment section below uh which one you agree with which one you don't agree with which one you disagree uh especially and if you have any additional points because i hope that these points can give people some value all right having said this may sign off you guys take care